Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to be looking at how to factorize these following quadratics. Now I know I've been talking about this really long-winded ugly method, but um, someone alerted to me a hack and I was like, I gotta show how to how to do this and more importantly I gotta try and figure out how it actually works. Anyway, without further ado, let's actually get started. Alright, so the first step what we're going to be doing here is still uh, quite similar to what we've done here before. We're going to multiply those two numbers at the end. But however, we're going to write this as x squared plus 11x and 6 times minus 7 is minus 42. Now you're wondering, hang on, this is not the same thing. But trust me, this actually works. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 42 and add up to 11. And so the numbers I'm going to have are 42 times 1. Uh, 21 times 2 uh, then what do we have 14 times 3 and we've got 7 times 6 and the combination I'm looking for is 14 and 3 for this particular quadratic in the blue there so I'm gonna write this as X and X and I know that this is gonna be plus 14 because I've got plus 11 and here I'm gonna get minus 3 however there is one extra step that um, this hack happens to have is that we're going to go 14 divided by 6 and minus 3 divided uh, by 6 as well. We're going to factorize, um, not factorize, we're going to simplify this. So we're going to simplify this to x plus 14 over 6 is 7 over 3. And then minus 3 over 6 can be written as negative 1 over 2. Now, here comes the beautiful part of this. I don't know how it works, but it works. The 3 ends up in front of the x and the 2 ends up in front of the x and this factor. So basically what we have is the two factors are 3x plus 7 and 2x minus 1. Now I've had a play around with this and it works so I thought what's happening here? Let me try a second method and see if it actually works out right. So in the second method, well not second method, the second question really, I'm still going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to multiply by 3 so I'm going to have x squared plus 14x minus 15. And I know the numbers that multiply to 15 and 14. I'm going to write down all the numbers. I've got 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. And the combination I'm going to be looking at is 1 times 15. So I'm going to rewrite this as x plus 15 multiplied by x minus 1. And of course, what I'm going to do is divide those numbers by 3. And when I do this, simplifying this, I'm going to get 15 divided by 3 is 5. And here, I'm going to do nothing to the um, 1 over 3, except move the 3 in front of the x. Which means my final factors are x plus 5 and 3x minus 1. Now, you can try and expand this um, to brackets, and what you're going to find is you're going to end up with that same answer. Let's actually try it out. So I've got x times 3x which is 3x squared, x times negative x, which is negative x, 5 times 3x is 15x, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, guess what, 3x squared plus 14x minus 5, it actually works. So before, when I used to do, the, do these factorization questions, I used to take about good 2-3 to three minutes to try and do them. So this time I'm going to try and do a speed run to see how fast I can do one of these questions. All right, guys, stopwatch is actually set up. Uh, having my pen ready, all right? That's all I'm doing. I'm not cheating or anything like that, okay? So here we go. Let's do this. So I'm going to do times 8 here, which means I'm going to get x squared minus 10x minus 24. Uh, I've got 1 times 24, 2 times 12. That's the one I should be going with, so I'm going to stop there. So then I can actually say x uh, minus 12, x plus 2, divide everything by 8. So that's divided by 8, divided by 8. Then I'm going to have x minus, uh, what is this going to be, 3 over 2. And then x plus 1 over 4, of course these numbers are going to come in the front which means I'm going to get 2x minus 3 4x plus 1 bang all right let me just check okay so as you guys can see there that's what my um, final answer was when I was playing around with Simat. and if I go right to the top 
2x minus 3, 4x plus 1. So guys, there you go. Less than 51 seconds. Um, try and beat that. That's pretty pretty impressive. All right, guys, that is basically it for this video. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment up there. I've not figured out how it works, but I probably will have a play around to try and see why it works. Uh, I think that's the best part about algebra. Um, if you beat this time, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.